Hi everyone, Thomas here and welcome back to another video. So today I'm back here for another speed build and today we're going to be doing one called a Lakeside Dream Home. Now this was something inspired from Pinterest. I was just randomly looking one night like what I normally do, just trying to find inspiration for builds and things and I came across this one which was kind of like it was a, a house, like a modern one like this and it was low against the lake and it just looked really, really nice and I thought I could try and do something like that in The Sims. Now we don't really have any lots that are that close to the water but you know, I try to do something like this and kind of this big swimming pool kind of replicates that in a way. Um, so I'm really, really happy how this turned out. It's a two-story home. It is a, I think, well, it wouldn't let me change it to residential because I made it in Granite Falls, but um, when I put it up on the gallery, it did change to residential. So it was actually a rental, but I think depending on where you put it, it changes it. I don't know. Um, so I'm really, really happy how this turned out. Like I said, so it's two stories. It's got three bedrooms, two bathrooms. It's gone upper garden deck sort of thing and one on the bottom as well. A big swimming pool. And um, yeah, so it, when it's well, when you get it on the gallery, it'll be flipped the other way around because the way I've got it now was where I wanted the gallery picture to be took that way. But to put it on the gallery, that isn't like the front of the lot. This is where where the front of I'm making the lot is the back, if you know what I mean. So I had to change it around before I blew it to the gallery. So when you do download it, you will have to change it. If, well, if you are going to download it, I do recommend because I think it's a really really nice house. And it's probably one of my favourites I've done in a little while actually. Um, so yeah, this is on the gallery. Like I said, my origin ID is Real Thomas TV One and you can go ahead and download this for yourself um so there's no custom content in it or anything like that so it should be easy to download um and yes yeah, so as you can see i did put fence around here as well but i didn't want to put it right against like all the way around because i kind of wanted you to be like looking out from the hot tub oh there's two hot tubs by the way yes two i had, had one on the bottom one and one on the top i was just like well you can't get enough hot tubs can you um and i didn't want it to the fence to be going all the way around the front of the pool either because i wanted you to be able to look out at that really nice view of like the lake um so i left that open and i thought it looked really really nice um if you're sitting in like the top hot tub it looks odd it's just an amazing view um so now i'm just going through with outside lights and things. I did all the outside, well, I did this over four days, which is a bit ridiculous, but I kind of started it late on a Saturday night. I did all of the outside, which I'm doing now. Um, and sorry, there was a gap there. I don't know why. Um, and this is another day, I think. And um, I'm just, well, I, the pool seemed to be a bit empty, so I put those little, um, just little bits of grass in them with like a fountain on them. I just thought it looked a bit, a bit nice actually. Um, so yeah, now we're on to the inside, and we're going to start with the kitchen first. I really wanted the inside to replicate the outside by being nice and modern. Um, and I haven't really done a modern house like this before because what I seem to do is I do a modern, like I haven't like the mindset to do a modern home, but then I'll end up doing like traditional wallpapers and things. I'm like, no. <laughs> so this time I think I managed to stick to modern throughout the whole thing. So the kitchen is a little bit different well actually no it's not i actually made well i wasn't planning on doing this but i kind of make the house a lot of neutral colors like creams and whites and stuff and black as well which is a big color throughout this I kind of just realised I've cut a lot of the kitchen build out of this build. I'm sorry, but it was like four hours and I didn't want to bore you too much. So I'm just doing quick little shots of every different room and stuff like that. And then at the end, there'll be screenshots as well. So you can get a, you know, a greater insight to what the final product was like. So um, this, I think this downstairs area, I could have maybe split off into a couple of more rooms because it was a very big area. And in the middle, I was struggling to find what to do. Like it was just a big open area. So I did have to mess around a couple of times. And that's probably why it took me so long long to try and find a way to not make it as open I mean that's that's kind of something I wanted to go for as well like in a big open and spacious home but at the same time it was a, like a borderline too much space if you know what I mean so um yeah but I'm really really happy with the kitchen I kind of left it with those archy doors well I can't think what you call them archy doors I don't think that's right and um I just liked how that looked you can just walk straight through the kitchen there's like a um bar stools in there as well there's also a little bar in there um and i have a big like dining area out there as well here i was trying to make kind of like a separate flooring area i don't even know what i was doing i was trying to put that fence around it's i think it came with get to work it, it's one you can just walk straight over it's just something that's very very low um but i thought it'd be nice to have that in the middle of the room and have like as a feature table sort of thing which i kind of like the idea for but the fence wouldn't go around that um so i ended up using these two things here which are the came with city living i think that these two room dividers and I thought it looked really really nice and I just put this plant in between them and just put a couple of tables next to that. I really, really like that fireplace area. I'm so, so happy how that turned out. The rug I used came with Sutty Living. I think I used that a couple of times throughout this build. It's just a really, really nice rug, actually. It has a lot of different colours and uh, designs with that one, actually. Um, so we're doing the 
downstairs bathroom there's two bathrooms like i said at the start this one down here which is a little bit bigger and then there's one upstairs as well which is a bit smaller and um, they both go for similar color themes this one maybe has a bit more neutral colors in it than the other one i think i can't even remember what the other one looked like to be honest um and yes yeah, so it was a little bit weird to try and find a way to um fill up the space in the middle there just wasn't really anything i don't know if i got this on camera but i put like a bath in the middle because i sometimes see that in a lot of houses where the bath is just separate like in the middle of the room which i think looks really, really nice so i did try that but it was a bit too small of a room to do that um but that's something i might do in the future actually because it is a nice idea i think um so since i do have big windows in this bathroom and um, because it kind of matches with the other windows that we've got on this side of the house um i didn't want to have to change those to fit with the bathroom uh, which probably well that would have made sense actually since it is you know a big like it needs to be private but um it would have looked a bit unusual from the outside of the house so i did uh, just put some big curtains on those uh, windows there as you would have seen so now we're working on the upstairs and the room we're working on right now which we're kind of finished with already um is the master bedroom i really really like that room because it was um like i had the balcony out of it so you know kind of made it the master bedroom um i'm sorry i didn't get a lot of footage for that room actually i realized how much i cut out well there is a screen well a couple of screenshots of, of that room actually at the end which is coming up in a couple of minutes see if you can see that then um I, I think i cut out a little bit too much of that room there so i'm sorry about that anyway now we're on to the next bedroom which is one next to it <laughs> and um i love this room it's kind of a lot of sick living items which is a good like pack i love to use to make bedrooms um i'll just the industrial style of the bricks that we get with it and just using that in combination with other modern style things just looks really really nice so i have been using that a lot of my bills builds i can't speak builds <laughs> recently um and yeah so this room was a little bit of an awkward shape it was it was a bit narrow in some areas so I did change it around a couple of times, um, but you will see in a second if I move my camera over, hopefully, um, there is kind of like a TV area that I made, as you can see right there. Um, and that just has a TV, a couple of seating chairs. I just thought it was a nice way to fill that space up because I wasn't really too sure what to do with it. There's also a dresser here which has a couple of things on top of it, just a couple of clutter stuff. Um, clutter stuff, that doesn't even make sense, I don't think. Um, and I really, really like those tables I used. I believe those came... Yeah, these... No, no. Those were sick living tables, not vintage glamour. Um, but they are really nice. I love those two little lights as well. I've been using that quite a few. Uh, that Oh my God. That a couple of times during this build and some other ones as well. Um, but yeah, so now we're on to the second bathroom, which is a bit smaller than the other one, but it is a similar colour theme. I didn't want to have too much variety because I feel like I do that sometimes and then I kind of regret it a little bit. Um, and one thing I find which is a bit annoying is with these little soap dispenser things. I feel like you should have one on your counters, but they just don't clip right to the counters. It's either too close or too far away from the sink. So I have to move the counter away, use the move objects cheat to move it in position, then move the counter back, which is a bit irritating, but that's really the only way we can do it. It. um so yeah that's it for that bathroom just very very quick it was i had to move that around I had, well that bathroom was even smaller than it was going to be because i had to move it even smaller to make the bedroom bigger because that was a little bit too small um but i'm really really happy how that turned out it's kind of like a separate section where you walk into the shower if you've seen that well i don't even know what that how to describe that but oh well moving on to the third bedroom which is actually the last one Again, it's kind of kept similar colour themes. I didn't want to have too much variety, like I said. Um, and, I, I th well, would this house be somewhere you would come on vacation with kids? I don't really know. I mean, you could probably use this as a kid's room. It's not very kid-like. It's more adult-y, teen style. But, you know, you could easily add a couple of toys in there, I think. But you have to do that in manager worlds, which is really, really annoying about vacation worlds. Well, the, the only vacation world is that you can't, like, go into build mode while you're there. So if you want to add something in, you have to go into manage worlds and do it. It's so annoying. But, oh, well. <laughs> Um, so I'm just going in with this room. It is a little bit small, so I only put a single bed in there, just so it wasn't too cramped. I'm just going around with some uh, little things here, like paintings and stuff like that. With paintings, which I seem to be doing a lot now, is actually putting little lights above them. I feel it's a nice way just to make them stand out a little bit. Um, so here we're coming down to back to the downstairs bit and um, for this area in, next to the front door i thought it was a little bit empty so i did come back and put like a hallway table in um, and i just put like a stereo in there and two like a, one of those those light plants again which i see, told you about before um, and also another little plant there just to fill up that space a little bit more um nicely i suppose um so we're going in with the hallway area now um, and this was a little bit odd to decorate because it is very very narrow so there wasn't really any furniture i could put in there so i kind of just filled the space with lights and paintings and that was pretty much all I could do with that area um, and I also put some railings in the uh, on the stairwell there as well kind of kept that glass because it kind of uh, fit with that modern theme 
So, that is it for this build. Pretty much, we're going to be moving on to the screenshots in just a second. If you enjoyed this, then please make sure you leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe if you haven't. Make sure you head over to my gallery. The, uh, my origin, well, head over to the gallery. My origin ID is RealThomasJV1, and you can go ahead and download this house for yourself. Make sure you leave some comments down below about what you thought with it. Let me know if there's any other videos, speed builds, or anything in general you want me to do in the future. Leave those down below in the comment section as well. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure you, well, I've said like, share, and subscribe. Anyway, <laughs> I'm rambling now, so I'll see you all next time. Bye!